In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. The Lord be with you. And with the Spirit. My brothers and sisters, we prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Let us call to mind our hearts and families. Lord Jesus, you were sent to heal the bound by your heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have mercy. Christ Jesus, you came to call sinners. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are seated at the right hand of the Father and you see for us. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Then Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us all our sins and pray God for everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Rejoicing in this annual celebration of our life and service. We pray, O Lord, that with our hearts set on Paschal mysteries, we may be gladdened by their full effects. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. reading the book of the prophet Isaiah. Come, let us return to the Lord. It is he who was rent, but he will heal us. He has struck us, but he will bind our wounds. He will revive us after two days. On the third day, he will raise us to live in his presence. Let us know that. Let us strive to know the Lord. As certain as the dawn is his coming, and his judgment shines forth like the light of day. He will come to us like the rain, like spring rain that waters the earth. What can I do with you, Bethlehem? What can I do with you, Judah? Your piety is like the morning cloud, like the dew that early passes away. For this reason, I smoke them through the prophets. I slew them by the words of my mouth. For it is my love that I desire, not sacrifice, and knowledge of God, rather than burnt offerings. Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. It is mercy I desire and not sacrifice. It is mercy that I desire and not sacrifice. Have mercy on me, O God, in your goodness. In the greatness of your compassion, wipe out my offense. Thoroughly wash me from my guilt, and in my sin, cleanse me. It is mercy I desire and not sacrifice. For you are not pleased with sacrifices. Should I offer a burnt offering, you would not accept it. My sacrifice, O God, is a contrite spirit, a heart contrite and humble, which, O God, you will not spurn. It is mercy I desire and not sacrifice. Be bountiful, O Lord, design on me your goodness. By rebuilding the wall of Jerusalem, then shall you be pleased with new sacrifices, burnt offerings, and holocausts. It is mercy I desire, and not sacrifices. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. The Lord be with you. 
A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus addressed this parable to those who were convinced of their own righteousness and despise everyone else. Two people went up to the temple and began to pray. One was a Pharisee and the other was a tax collector. The Pharisee took up his position and spoke his prayer to himself. O oh God, I thank you that I am not like the rest of humanity, greedy, dishonest, adulterous, or even like this tax collector. I fast twice a week, and I pay tithes on my whole income. But the tax collector stood off at a distance and would not even raise his eyes to heaven, but beat his breast and prayed, O oh God, be merciful to me, a sinner. I tell you, the latter will be justified, not the former. For everyone who exalts himself will be humbled, and the one who humbles himself will be exalted. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. This morning's gospel, we are reminded that we are called to be a people who are humble, especially in our prayers to our Heavenly Father, that we know who we are because God knows who we are, and that we then humbly seek his forgiveness and his mercy. So in this Lenten season, we are reminded that we are called to be a people who are humble. We are called to be a people who know our limitations and our weaknesses. That the Lord is able to help us, and that the Lord is able to strengthen us, and the Lord is able to forgive us with His love and His mercy. And so, as we receive the Eucharist today, we give thanks for God's mercy to us who are sinners. And we pray that we may always see to be humble and to be the people who are growing in faith during this time of Lent. In humility and hope, we now place our petitions before our heavenly Father this morning. Our response will be, Lord, hear our prayer. We pray that all members of the church may grow in love, love, and knowledge of God. Through his grace and mercy, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray to the judges, juries, and law enforcement officials may be guided by God in balancing judgment with mercy. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray that the Lord may heal and bind up the wounds of those injured or recovering from surgery. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray that those gathered here, whose hearts are experiencing despair, may be blessed with the consolation of God's peace. We 
pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. We pray that those who have died in Christ may return with the Lord to his glorious kingdom, especially for Carmel E. and John Marshall, Tony Gloriosa, and Dr. R. Sazioli, for whom this Mass is being offered. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for those special intentions that we hold in the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us conclude by praying our parish prayer. Lord Jesus, Jesus you told us where you are where to be. Bless the very living Lord God of all creation, for through the infants we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth of our forgiven hand, but become for us the bread of life. Bless the be God forever. Bless the living Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Through the divine and more forgiving hand, will be found on the earth forever. Bless the be God. God forever. With humble spirit and with great heart, that we be accepted by you, O Lord. May our sacrifice and your sacrifice be made in pleasure to the Lord God. Wash me, Lord. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice to your may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May you accept sacrifice to your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our for good, good and all his children. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. 
and so with angels and saints, we praise you as we bow down and we have come. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the Father of all angels. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray. I set it down in prayer upon them that we do fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered into his passion, he took bread and gave it thanks for everything. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when someone was in it, he took the chalice, and once more gave it thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, that you drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for men, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of Thank you. 
Let us pray. May we truly revere our merciful God from all the mysteries by which He constantly nourishes us. May we always partake of them with abundant faith in our hearts. Through Christ. 